Welcome back to You've Got This, the channel that's dedicated to teaching you all the life skills that you need to make it in this world. Today I was going to talk to you about time management. I want to do a little disclaimer. We have a lot of background noise going on in the neighborhood. We've been trying to film for a couple weeks and there's either been road construction or yard work going on. So we decided to bite the bullet and go ahead and film. And so if you hear a lot of background noise, we apologize, but we just need to get it done. So time management is a crucial skill in life. In order to have a life that allows you to pursue the things that you want to do without feeling completely stressed out and like your life is chaos, you need to put some thought towards managing your time and how you want your day, your week, or your month to progress. So today I'm gonna to show you what I do. You can do your own version, obviously. I happen to write in a um, planner, in a paper planner. I'll show it to you here. This is one I bought at the drugstore. And it has, you know, the entire year, I think this one might even be a little longer than a year, but what it does is it breaks, it gives you the first page of each month, the entire month, and then thereafter weekly. So what I like to do is, I like to think about what do I know is happening this week? And I usually will do this maybe on a Sunday. Sit down on a Sunday, look at my upcoming week, and I'll say, okay, I know that on Wednesday is my trash pickup. So I put trash up in the top so that I can remember to put my trash out. And I know that on Friday we have recycling pickup. Oops, Recy recycling. <laughs> what did I spell that? I have to, did, I think I spelled that right. I, I think you got it. <laughs> and I uh, got a um, little bit nervous on camera. But anyway, and then what I'll do is I'll think about any appointments that I have coming up for the week. So let's say that I have on Thursday at four o'clock, I have a haircut. And let's say that on Monday at three o'clock, my dogs have to go to the veterinarian. Oops. I don't, I feel like I should redo this, Kai. It's so sloppy. Let me redo oh, I it. I, don't, I think it's fine, Mom. <laughs> I'm not worried about it, really. Okay. It's, I'm sorry this is so sloppy. Um, I usually like to write nice and neatly for myself. But anyway, and then I may have work um, appointments. You may have some meetings that you have to schedule in, um, some conferences or, or anything having to do with work. So go ahead and put those in. And then what I'd like to do is I like to take a highlighter and I like to highlight the th things that are not that crucial but that I want to remember I might do in a color like yellow because it's not it's just a mellow yellow but something very important like a business meeting or or an appointment with a doctor or the vet or a haircut I put it in red because then I it really stands out for me and then what I usually do is I think about my exercise schedule and I like to put in my workout for the week and so I alternate between um, my weights my cardio and yoga so on Monday I'll do some cardio and I'll do maybe my weights on my legs maybe Tuesday cardio and my arms with weights and then maybe Wednesday is going to be yoga and then I have something I call the 10, 10, 10s, which is just a kind of a circuit of 10 jumping jacks, 10 push-ups, 10 sit-ups, 10 crunches, like that, 10 burpees, and I do that 10 times. That whole circuit 10 times makes it 100 for each. So then I go back and start the whole thing over again. So I just like to put in my workouts because it makes me, um, 
maybe adhere to it more instead of blowing it off. And it also varies my workouts so, so that I'm actually working all the parts of my body. And then I always like to leave one day Sunday maybe for a free day. So if I want to go for a bike ride or go out swimming at the lake or something like that. And you know, I don't, I may change it up. Maybe my friend calls me to go for a, a run or to take a hike on one of these days. So I might just substitute that. But anyway, so there I've got my appointments. I've got just some basic household stuff that's coming up. And then I like to put in my house cleaning. You know, if you try to do all your chores on one day, uh, cleaning your house, like let's say Saturday. Well, then your whole Saturday is shot with just cleaning. If you can break your chores down into one chore per week, um, by the time the weekend rolls around, you've pretty much got everything done. So you can have some playtime and you have to have playtime in your life or what's the point? So I will put in today, I'm, on Monday I'll vacuum. On Tuesday I'll dust. On Wednesday, I'll clean the bathroom. On Thursday, I'll do a really good clean on the kitchen. On Friday, I'll sweep and mop. And on Saturday, I might do some yard work or wash my car or something like that. So that way, I'm only spending 15, 20, maximum 30 minutes but usually less on a chore and my house is staying fairly consistently clean so that's the way i manage my chores and then of course the rest of the day is going to be taken up with work as far as laundry goes i'll be doing a segment on how to do laundry if you haven't really ever done laundry yourself or if you feel like you need some pointers on it i'll do that but today, what I want to say is if you're lucky enough to have a washer and dryer at home, then you'll just do it throughout the week as you're at home while you're cooking dinner or whatever. You're going to throw in a, a dark load or a white load. If you have to go to the laundromat, which I did for years, and I actually remember even when my, ba my kids were babies or toddlers, we didn't have a washer and dryer, and I would have to load them in the car along with my laundry and take them to the laundromat, even when they were just still in a little carrier, and do the laundry and haul it out and haul, try to keep track of the kids. It was always really stressful, it, but we did it. What I would do is I would take one day of the week, and it was always typically Sunday. Sunday was my day, because I was in college, to, to get my laundry done at the laundromat. And at the time, I could throw my laundry in and leave. And I know that that's a little bit risky because sometimes people will mess with your laundry. So maybe you shouldn't, I don't, you'll have to determine how nice your laundromat is and if there's an attendant there keeping track of your stuff so nobody's taking your things. But, um, and then I would run out and wash the car and go through the car wash while my laundry was going. And then I might go grocery shopping on the way home. And so that way I had my clean laundry, my car was clean and ready to go for the week, and I had my groceries. So that was just, you know, part of a Sunday. And I felt like I could start my week without stress. So if you can break into increments your chores, like groceries, like cleaning, like laundry, and schedule your exercise in, you can find the spaces in the week where you have time for work and for the other things that you find that are important, like having fun, meeting up with friends, but you're going to keep your act together and you're not going to end the week feeling like you have so much catch up to do that you can't have fun on your weekend. So that's the way I do it. You can do this on your phone. You can do it on whatever type of planner it is that you use, but do it the week before so, or you know, the, the day before your week starts. It gives you a clear idea of what you're up to and you can write in special things that you wanna make sure get done. All right, that's it. I hope that's helpful. Uh, I will um, be putting a PDF down in the description box below that just gives you a little outline of this. And also, I hope that you have subscribed. If you haven't, please do and like the video. Thanks so much.